In this video series, I'm going to go through the process of modeling a hammer. So this is the hammer I'll be using as reference, and I have several views of it, including a top, front, and side view, and back and, uh, view, as well as uh, several detailed photos showing detailed for texturing later on. The first thing I'm going to do is use the top, front, and side views as image planes in Maya in order to have uh, the reference right in Maya to work with. So <clears throat> I happen to know that the hammer is 33 centimeters tall. So I'm going to start by making a cube and going into the attribute editor and clicking on polycube 1 and where it says height, I'm going to type in 33 because the default units in Maya are, are centimeters. So if I type in 33 for the height, that is now a 33 centimeter high um, cube. And then I'm just going to move it up so that it is sitting on the ground plane like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is something that we'll just be using for uh, reference for scale later on to scale up the image planes. So in each of the orthographic views, I'm going to hit 4 so that we're in wireframe mode. And then I am going to start by going into the front view and go view, image plane, import image. And I already had my project set so to the ha my, this hammer project directory I created. You can see that it automatically went to my source images folder. And in the source images folder, I have a reference folder. So I will choose hammer front and click open. And that now brought in this image, which I want to make sure is the same height as this cube. So I'm going to select this image and in the attribute editor he over here where it says alpha gain, I'm going to put that at 0.5 instead of 1 so that it's slightly transparent. And then I'm going to hit R on the keyboard to get the scale tool and I'm going to scale up and move my image plane until it is the same, the hammer is the same height as the reference cube we created. And then I'm just going to make sure that my hammer handle is pretty much centered on the, um, the origin line. So now my front view is set up. I can do the same thing in my side view. Go view, image plane, import image, and go to hammer side one and click import. Again, I'll set the alpha gain to 0.5 so it's slightly transparent and I will move it up and scale it to the correct size. And again, it was R is the hotkey for scaling. So about like that. And again, I will make sure that it's basically centered. And then the last one I'll do is top view. So view, image plane, import image, and select my top view. And with this one, I'm going to just temporarily move it up so that I can see it next to my uh, front image here, and then scale it so that it basically matches the same um, dimensions as my front view. And that's one of those things that um, the, the three image planes aren't going to be perfect um, because they're photos and there's some perspective involved. So you always have to choose which one you're going to use for your main reference and then just use the other ones for supplemental. And again, on with that top view image plane selected, I'll set the alpha gain to 0.5. So now each of those is slightly transparent. Now, the problem is that the image planes are showing in all of the views. And when I work, I like to see the image planes in the orthographic views, but not see them in the perspective view. So I'm going to select one of the image planes and in my attribute editor here, I'm going to change it from in all views to looking through camera. 
and I'll do that for each of those and that will make it so I see the image planes in the orthographic views but don't see them anymore in the perspective view. And now that I have those set up, I can delete my reference cube and then I'll just do a file save scene as and I'm going to call that hammer example v v01.